guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So, we are officially in wedding season. I don't know about you guys, but I've been to two weddings. I've got two weddings coming up in the next couple of weeks. It's really happening. I'm so pleased though, because I just feel like for everyone who's been affected by COVID and their weddings, it was breaking my heart and it's so nice to see that weddings are back in action again. And plus, I love a wedding. Who doesn't love a good wedding? Honestly, one of my favorite, I think I'd have one every weekend if I could. It's just great, maybe I should become a professional wedding crasher, I don't know. Anyway, on that note, so for today's video, I have basically trawled the internet and tried to find as many different brands, styles, colors of wedding guest outfits, but will also double up as like special occasion outfits. It doesn't just need to obviously be for a wedding. All of these, as I said, great for birthdays, graduations, big events, all that sort of stuff. One thing I have tried to do in this haul is find different brands, brands that maybe you guys haven't heard of or just from different places because I wanted to show different things basically and I'm really pleased. That's why it's taken me longer to do this because I've been waiting for stuff to arrive and I, I honestly love everything so I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this one. So anyway, I will shut up now and if you would like to get some wedding guest or just occasion inspiration then please keep watching. So I am going to start with a shameless plug. This is the SLA Fiji dress, which I'm completely obsessed with. It launches this Sunday, just in case you guys are wondering. This is the yellow version. So, I mean, the back of this is my favourite part of this whole dress. I'm honestly just so, so in love with these. The colour of this one, the, the reason I wanted the yellow colour is, you know in the movie How To Lose A Guy In 10 Days, where she comes down and she's wearing that yellow dress, I was just like, I feel like I want that in my life. And so we thought we'd do a dress that was perfect for weddings and special occasions, and this is the Fiji dress. So I had to put it in first because I'm literally so in love with them. The other color that it does come in is this purple color, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did wear it to a wedding. I will put the picture in here. So you can see it in full on wedding situation with Joe being an usher. Um, so yeah, so but as you can see, both of the colors are so, so amazing. And I'm hoping that you guys will love the back detail as much as I do. I mean, I'm honestly just so in love with them. And I'm also hoping that they'll make you feel as amazing as I felt when I wore it to a wedding. And I just honestly feel, they're just so nice. They're made up of a really nice sort of like thick hammered satin. Um, so yeah, so launching on Sunday. They do also have adjustable straps. So you can sort of choose where it sort of sits here. So you can have it a lot higher up if you don't want it as low, which I think is important because it really depends how you prefer a dress to sit, I think. And then I just thought, you know, I love a mirror selfie. So here is a full length of this dress in the mirror, just sort of styled up so you guys can see that. So this dress, which is an insane print, as you guys can see, this is from Never Fully Dressed. I really wanted to put this one in here just because it's so different. I feel like the print alone just makes this so amazing and I love the colours in it. It's like the perfect summer, sort of like garden party wedding dress. And it's made of a, it's a slightly thinner material, but I think that's what gives it that really nice sort of like floaty, as I say, like summer garden party wedding. And I'm hoping that you guys would agree that the sort of colors that are in this, it's obviously gonna have to be worn for like a summer wedding, but equally, it's such a lovely dress. And because it's so lightweight and flowy, it would make the perfect holiday dress, which I'm hoping some of these dresses actually do double up as, because I think, when you're buying a dress that's maybe like a little bit more expensive because I do always kind of spend a little bit more money on a dress that I'm wearing to a wedding because we all want to feel a bit sassy and a bit sort of like dressed up. But it's always nice when you've got like multiple uses for it. So that's what I have tried to do with this whole haul is make sure that all the dresses can be worn for like different things. So I am wearing this dress in a size 10 and I would say it fits pretty well. I think, I mean, I'm normally a UK size eight, so I have gone up a size and I think I maybe would suggest going up a size because of the nature of the satin material, it hasn't got much stretch, so just keep that in mind. And then I thought I'd just put in a full length mirror picture of this dress. I actually just put on some blue heels with this. And then the earrings that I'm wearing, I'm gonna just wear these throughout the whole haul 
but these are from Zara and I'm calling them my wedding earrings because I've actually worn them to two weddings so far and I just love them because they're like a little love heart and I just think perfect for wedding season so I might just wear them to all weddings and literally make them my wedding earrings but yeah anyway that's um if you're wondering where they're from they're from Zara so like I said at the beginning of this haul I wanted to show you guys dresses from brands that maybe you haven't heard of different places because as I said before I just think there's something so nice about getting a dress for a wedding or a special occasion that's just that little bit different and special so this dress is actually from an Australian boutique called Fox and Maiden but the brand name is San Sloan so I'm wearing this dress in a size medium I did actually get this dress in an orange colour and I got it in the size small and it is quite small. So that's why for this haul I thought I'm going to order the green colour because I'm so obsessed with it and try it out in a medium and see if it fits better and it definitely does. So one thing is for sure, they come up small. I mean, I think we can all agree that the colour is insane especially because green is just so so in it's literally going to be the color of like autumn and winter i think so i love this dress i think the color is amazing i love the cutout detail as well i think it's so nice so it sort of obviously like goes around to the back as well and it's just i mean this is a little bit more shiny than the orange one so the orange color is this so it's amazing it's honestly so nice so it's exactly the same style i mean the color of that is insane it's so nice but it is a lot tighter but i have kept this because it does fit it's just not as like comfortably fitting so like for example this one has got like a bit of a gap at the side and it just feels a little bit more comfortable like you can move around in it it's just it is more comfy and it's not as tight i will put this one on so you guys can see the difference but i thought i'd just start off by showing you the green color because it's just so so amazing so I will put in a mirror picture of this one just for the sake of chucking in a mirror picture and just showing off this dress a little bit more because it's so amazing so as promised this is the orangey red version of it on so as you can see like it does fit it's just that it's a little bit tighter around here and I feel like because it's tighter there's less of a gap it's also I think there's not as much stretch in like this shoulder it feels like I don't know maybe it's because I'm a little bit taller but it just doesn't feel like it's got as much give but I thought I would just add that in on the sizing situation because if you're ordering from the UK if you're based in the UK like I am obviously I did pay customs and duty on these and you don't want to get it wrong with sizing and then have to worry about sending it back so hopefully this will help you and you'll know sort of exactly what size you need to order so from that same brand and the same Aussie boutique, we have this blue dress, which is insane. It's got like a really open and like slightly low back, which I love. I also love this sort of tie detail that it's got. I just think it's really flattering on your waist. And also the color is just insane. The only thing I would say with this one is if you have a slightly bigger chest, this will not work for you. Now I'm already having like a tiny little bit of under boob. Um, so I feel like you definitely probably wouldn't get away with this if you have a larger chest. I just don't think it would work. Um, so that's just sort of hopefully helpful and will stop you from wasting money if you are a larger chested girl. It doesn't have much stretch in it. So again, I'm wearing this in a medium, which is, it is mental. Their sizing is very small. Like there really is no give. Um, up here but as I say I'm doing the the hard work for you and I'm trying to work out the sizing so hopefully <laughs> this will come in handy if you plan on buying anything from this brand or the Aussie boutique and all that sort of stuff but anyway here is a full length of that one in the mirror just so you guys can see it sort of with shoes if there's any shoes that you see and you want to know where they're from just let me know in the comments below and I will reply to you and tell you where they're from so the last dress that I got from that same Aussie boutique so this is from a brand called Shona Joy and I I mean this one I just feel like it's so elegant i love the color of this and it's just that little bit longer and there is something about it that's just got that little bit more of like an elegant feel the material of this is so nice it feels so thick and i'm just as i said i love 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 the color of this i also love the detail around the bust so you can tie it up like as loose or as tight as you like it's also got adjustable straps which as i've already said is super important so you can sit kind of choose where it sits if i just tilt this down a little bit more you can see that it is long on me like i really 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 like the length of where that sits but i'm just thinking that if you are a little bit shorter it might be a little bit longer 
so just keep that in mind but I think it's just such a lovely dress it actually reminds me a little bit of Beckham Bridge I feel like it's got a similar sort of feel to those dresses um and I just oh I don't want to take it off actually I feel very I feel very floaty in it and then so here's a full length of this dress in the mirror so you guys can see this one so I just thought I would show you this one from Zara just as a sort of cheaper alternative to a similar style dress because I know some of these are a slightly higher price point annoyingly I steamed all of these dresses before I did this and I thought the watermark would have dried by now but there are still watermarks on this dress so apologies if you can see that it's always so annoying steamers just they're a really good idea to have because I do not want to iron, but when they spit water on things, honestly, it's so annoying. So this dress has got the really lovely cow back, which I feel like Zara is just doing so well on their dresses at the moment. And I'm pretty sure, actually, is the tag still on this? I feel like it was so cheap. Yeah, it was £29. So it's a really good dress if you are on a budget for a wedding and you don't want to spend like a lot of money. I am wearing this one in a medium though, which as you guys know, I normally do in my slip dresses, but I think I could have gotten away with it being a small because I think I'd rather it fitted a bit more. So I do think actually you can stick to your normal size in this. I think that's the only thing with this. I think it's a little bit baggy on me um, and that's because I went a size up. So don't do what I did. To stick with your normal size and it should be fine. So next I wanted to show you guys something completely different but something that I do think is so nice to wear to a wedding and that is a tailored suit. So this one, as I said, I wanted to find some different brands from different places that maybe you guys haven't heard of. So this is from a brand called, I wanna say Aggie, it's A-G-G-I. Um, it's from Poland, this is a Polish brand and I actually got it off of a website called Wolf and Badger um, and I'm literally, I'm so in love. It's, I mean, as you can see, the color of this blazer is insane. I'll tilt it down so you can see the trousers. So I will put some heels on um, and do a little sort of mirror photo in this, but it's amazing. And as I said, I do feel like sometimes, especially as the weather gets a little bit cooler, a tailored suit, especially a tailored coloured suit for a wedding, I just think is so nice. So this is that these trousers have actually got splits up the side, as you can see, which I think is quite nice. It's a little bit different. And the best thing about this brand is that the trousers come in a normal length and a tall length. So... Oh dream for tall girls um so i'm wearing the longer length if you guys are wondering i think i'm wearing a small in the trousers and i'm wearing a medium in the blazer and i'm really pleased with like the fit of everything it fits really really well so yeah so i'm really pleased and it's just really nice to come across new brands because i don't know about you guys but sometimes when i'm online shopping i just feel like i see the same brands the same stuff there's nothing sort of fresh and new so i always do get really excited when i come across a new brand that's like offering some things that are maybe a little bit different so here is a full length of this one in the mirror so you guys can see but i'm hoping you guys will agree with me that it's nice to sort of do something a little bit different for a wedding um and yeah tailor suits and also this blazer on its own just with like over jeans or something would also be amazing so it's good because you've got multiple uses for one outfit which as you guys know i do love so this is so nice and this is also from that same brand so that aggie brand i'm hoping i'm saying that right i'm probably saying it wrong so apologies if i am but it's basically a two-piece which i just thought it's quite nice to show you guys something a little bit different so they're not all dresses and also the skirt on its own would be amazing and also the top on its own would be amazing so it's got sort of like a crossover open back which i think is so nice and then i tied the straps around like twice because it's so long you can get like a little sort of like wrap around kind of look around the middle but um yeah i just think it's so nice and actually it looks like a dress when it's on i think so if you are worried about wearing like a two-piece to a wedding not that you should be because i think it's a fab idea but um it does sort of look like a dress the length of this skirt is really long um which i love so but you might want to wear some higher heels if you're a little bit shorter just tilt it so you can see like the full full length i have actually put some heels on right now to try this on with because it's so long as you can see it's sort of like puddling off to the side but i think that's so nice and because it's got a split when you walk it's not going to get in the way because it's open so i have actually tested it because i've sort of like walked with heels on and thought does it get in the way and it doesn't because it's open it doesn't like the skirt doesn't get under your feet 
So yeah, I really, I'm really out here doing some like road testing of these for you guys. I'm hoping you appreciate this. But yeah, I mean, how nice. And I love, as I said, that this brand, like their stuff's really cool. And they've got really, really nice colors and things. The quality is unbelievable, like literally insane. And then so here is a full length of this cold in the mirror. Okay, so bear with me on this one because there is a reason why I'm trying this on. I promise I'm not losing my mind. So I got this dress when I was also buying that Aggie stuff of Wolf and Badger. And I thought, I'm just gonna get it because it's amazing. Now I know <laughs> that this is way too sexy for a wedding. I mean, it would be a little bit much, but I love this dress. So I was like, I'm just, while I've got you all here, I'm gonna try it on because as I said, all these dresses can double up as a special occasion and this would make the most amazing sexy birthday dress. I mean, or just holiday vibes. It's so nice. It's made out of like a, a kind of like a leotardy material, but I really like it. So this is from a brand called Room 24. And yeah, I just thought I've got to try it on because I'm in love with it. And I just think, there you can find an occasion for this. It doesn't need to be a wedding. I think if you turn up to a wedding in this, you might get some looks i think i just think it might be a little bit inappropriate i'm sure we can all agree with that but sexy vibes i mean it's got a lot of sexy vibes i'm honestly just i just love it i think it's so nice and as i say holiday birthday this is the dress this is the one it's just so nice it's got like adjustable ruching as well so i've ruched it up quite high because i think the super high thigh split just adds to the sexy vibes but you could pull that down a little bit if you didn't want as much leg on show. Plus, I'm personally living for this neckline. I think it's so nice. I'm actually going away on Friday and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take this dress with me. Just to quickly show it off in all its glory, here is a full length mirror picture of this dress. I mean, I'm obsessed, literally. I'm definitely taking this away with me. I'm literally, the more I wear it, the more I love it. So I feel like it wouldn't be a wedding guest trial and haul if I didn't have a rat and bow dress in it. So I've thrown this one in as a wild card because the print is crazy, but I love it. I do think it is so nice. I love the giraffe print. Like, when do you ever see a dress in giraffe print? I think it's so fun. It's got an amazing low back to it, which I'm, of course, just completely obsessed with. It's also made of a really lovely, like, sheer... It's that typical sort of sheer rat and bow fabric. I'll just tilt this down so you can see the length of it. It's such a good length. I mean, it's so, it's such a, like a, it's long enough so you can definitely wear it with heels, which I do think is important. But I mean, I quite like how long it is. I would actually probably even wear it just with flats on holiday because I do love when things just drape on the floor. I just think they're so fab. And again, this is another dress that would double up so well as like a holiday dress. And so yeah, you get multiple, multiple uses out of this. Oh, I'm burning up in here. It's so warm. I shouldn't complain though. I really shouldn't complain because I feel like we've all been waiting for this warm weather for a long time. It's nice to see sunshine outside my window for once. Um, and then here is a full length of this dress in the mirror so you guys can see that one all together. And so lastly, we have this pink number, which is from an Australian designer called Natalie Rolt. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and it's amazing. I mean, it's so nice. It's made from this like sort of thick linen material. So it is a perfect sort of summer wedding dress. I feel like Australian designers always have just like such fab colors and they're just so good at doing like a perfect summer dress. Maybe because they're always surrounded by sunshine, who knows? But this is honestly amazing. So I got this actually from Flannels which obviously is a UK site. So I didn't have to pay any of like import duties or anything like that. And actually it literally arrived next day. So yeah, and I really like it. It does come up small though. I'm wearing this in a small, but it is quite tight across my boobs. So, I mean, it's comfy. I don't feel like it's too tight, but it is definitely tight. So I would keep that in mind again with sizing, depending on like your bust size and all that sort of stuff. But I love the ruching up the side. So the back has got this sort of like clasp detail. So that's how the top does up. And then obviously you've got this like little sort of open back section. Oh, there is a child screaming outside my window. But I just think, I mean, I had to put a pink dress in here because pink has just been the colour of summer and it would have felt really wrong if I hadn't put a pink number in. I also like how it's got this like really thin strap detail. And then, so here's a full length of this one in the mirror so you guys can see that one. 
So that's everything I have to show you in today's try on haul. I really, really hope you guys have found this useful. I wanted, I've honestly been putting like so much thought into this and been trying to find loads of different brands and styles. So I do really hope that this does come in handy. I will link everything below with the sizes that I'm wearing in case I've missed any of the sizes in any of them. As I said, if you want to know where any of the shoes are from, just ask me in the comments and I'll let you know. Um, I think I've covered everything. I also actually, one thing I will say, so I have two weddings coming up in the next three weeks and I cannot decide which of these dresses to wear so please 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 let me know your favorite below what one because uh, basically I need to wear two so I've got two weddings I need to wear two of these dresses so let me know below what your favorite is and help me decide what to wear to these weddings because I'm really struggling because I love them all so anyways that's my parting comment but thank you all so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this one and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.